Hello everyone, it's time for a, another video, week 18. Last week I said we were a third of the way through, and technically that would only take us to 51 weeks, but you get the point. We are rapidly advancing. And this week we continue in the Old Testament. We're going to be in the books of 2 Samuel, 1 Chronicles, as well as the Psalms. Now, 1 Samuel, excuse me, 2 Samuel chapters 5 and 6 and the chapters we're going to read in 1 Chronicles, that being 11 through 16, are very similar. Uh, remember, Chronicles are written way after the book of uh, 2 Samuel, way, way after. These are uh, written for the exiles who returned from the Babylonian um, uh, captivity, if you will. So uh, chapter 5 and 6 of 2 Samuel. What are we looking at? Well, David is finally recognized as the king over Israel. Yeah, the people finally see that. And uh, we also read about how he's bringing the Ark of the Covenant back to Jerusalem, also known as Zion. Uh, there is that unfortunate scene where one of the men uh, who is assisting uh, the, the return of the Ark of the Covenant as the oxen get unstable and it looks like it's going to fall, he reaches out to touch it to, you know, keep it from falling and God strikes him down. And David is displeased about that, but it's a reminder that God had said long before, I will be regarded as holy. And again, I know that's a difficult thing to read, but it's there. So, and that's going to be 2 Samuel chapters 5 and 6. And then in 1 Chronicles 11 through 16, um, you're going to get some more detail on those things. You'll also read about the unfortunate reality um, that has now come about between David and his first wife, uh, Saul's daughter, who's named Michael or Michal, and, um, you know, where she at one time really loved him dearly. Now she despises him. Um, there, there's just a lot of sadness there. You might remember that when David was being pursued by Saul, uh, Saul took Michael and gave her to another man. And it's just a really broken situation, but we're going to read about that. Now, in the Psalms, goodness, let me just see here. Uh, Psalms 1 and 2, 15, uh, 22 to 24. Psalm 47, 68, 89, 96. Psalms 100 through 107. Psalm 132, and then finally Psalm 133. Like so many of the Psalms, they're going to range from sorrow to joy and in between. Um, that's just part of it. That's the nature of the Psalms. These are songs that are prayers, really. But uh, here's what I would say for this week's reading. You want to read every single one of them because they're good. They're beneficial. In fact, Psalm 2 is one of my all-time favorites. Psalm 23 is part of our reading this week. But be looking for the Messianic references, especially in the second psalm, in Psalm 22, that's a big one. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Psalm 89, and then finally, Psalm 132. Be looking for those, um, again, those pointers, those references to the coming Messiah. I hope that this will be a helpful video for you. Until next week, Lord willing, I'll see you then. But read well, and behold God in his word, and worship him. Have a great one.